Hello again, welcome back to Wicked Auto. So today, more lights. Changing, not adding. Um, so we're gonna do the third brake light because if you watch the other one, I messed up the tail lights. Was gonna plan on doing the same thing to the third brake light, but because I messed up the tail lights, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the whole damn unit in the first place. Instead of wasting my time trying to tint the damn thing. Uh, and it looks better anyway than one I replaced it with. So let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay, so there it is. And it's covered in plastic, so it's actually kind of hard to see. Was not expecting it to be that bad in uh, on the video. But you can see what it looks like, basically. Of course, we're going to take off the plastic when we install it. But it's a Morimoto uh, third brake light for uh, Super Duties. Uh, it does On their site, it does say 23 plus. So keep that in mind. Uh, they do have other versions uh, for the previous years, of course, right? Everybody knows more moto, right? They're a pretty big name within automotive lighting. Replacements, headlights, taillights, third brake lights. I've never used Morimoto. So on the F-150 build, the taillights were fine. I was good with those. The headlights I swapped out uh, for uh, Alpha Rexes, which I loved. I thought they were awesome. The Morimotos, I did not like their headlights for the F-150s. There were too many uh, projectors. They, to me, they just reminded me of like spider eyes or something like that. So I didn't like them. Alpha Rex was better. Looked better in my opinion. Uh, quality of Mormoto, I've never seen in anything horrible. I mean, every company has their issues, but they're a good quality company. So went ahead and bought their third brake light. Plus, hoping that they will come out with their tail lights for the super duties as they stated towards the end of this year so i can replace them damn things since i messed them up and hoping they would match right getting the same brand uh, i think i looked at recon as well i can't remember if they actually had one if they did i didn't like it uh, i like how this looks i do think the version without the camera looks better with, from Morimoto, I think just the the way it's laid out, I think it looks better. But of course, mine comes with a camera, so I had to get the one with the camera. Uh, you can also get them with flash a uh, flash module. Uh, it'll just plug into the cord, and when you hit the brake, it'll flash. I think four times, and then become steady. I don't. I didn't want that. But this is what you get in the box: third brake light. Uh, see how to go around the back before you put it back on the harness itself and I believe this is the one that you plug into your factory so we need to take off the factory rear or the factory third brake light unplug it pull the cord through the inside of the cab uh, underneath the headliner pull it out plug this one in this one into the factory or unplug the factory plug for the third brake light. Then the K, the wire that's left, plug this in, run it up through, or plug this one in, run it up through, then plug this one into this one, plug that into the third brake light. Uh, we also need to take the camera from the factory one and put it in here. They just give you the hole. So if you look at the back of it, they give you the hole for the camera. Uh, so it's just two screws on the factory one as well. You unscrew them, put them in here. So let's go ahead and remove the factory. All right, if the wind's coming through, I apologize for that, I'm trying to block it. To remove this, all you gotta do is pull these uh, Torx bolts out of here. Uh, don't know what size it is, I think it's 20 or 25. Uh, you just unscrew it, that's it. Pull them out, all four of these, and then you'll just unclip the wire behind it. So this is the factory one, right? So we need to remove the camera and this is the plug from the camera or from the third brake light to the main harness. I'll show you how I got that. But the, I already removed one screw. There's the other screw. Those are the ones you need to remove. They are a T8. Uh, so remove these then we're going to transfer them over to the new one. So. This is how I did it. 
I just pulled down right here. So you can see through there, you see the light that's from the third or the third brake light. And there's the plastic piece right there. So I'm pushing on, that's what it clips into. So you just apply pressure, plastic, top. So you can see one is right there. See, it's popped and I stuck my hand in there and you see the plug right there. So I'm going to take the little one that plugs in, plug that in, push it back through to the light back there. And then I can pull it up from the top, pull the, uh, this cord back up through. All right, so I went ahead and dropped the liner, plugged it in from the headliner, stuck it up through and took her little hands and she grabbed it from here and pulled it up through. Uh, so now we're ready to put this in. Now the right the little rubber uh, 3M piece to help seal this off. There's already one on there. Let me show you. So there's already one in there. And if they give you this one, the one that comes with it is stuck down in there. So I went ahead and put the second one on there. We'll see how this works. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I was supposed to. We'll find out. Now let's plug them back in. I didn't want to almost die. Okay. Put this in here. So that's it back up. Alright, so now take these your factory screws and just put them back in. Too, too much, right? This is plastic. All right, so let's see how it looks. All right, what do you guys think? I mean, obviously the tinted look is way better than the factory look, and the design actually looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? I like it. Now, if they would just get their tail lights so I can get these screw ups off of here. <laughs> Uh, but that was it. Install for the third brake light. Morimoto's, uh, as usual. All the links in the description below. Uh, actually, before we go, I did realize I forgot to mention something here. The shorty antenna. Always put it, uh, put it on this brand on every truck because they're awesome. I mean, they've lasted and they work phenomenal. Description, or the link's always in the description. Something I added before the third brake light and search for the Super Duty. Actually, I was on the fence with it. Wife said, go ahead, it's gonna look awesome. And she was right as usual, <laughs> uh, but she was. It does look great, I, I love how it turned out. So that's it, like, subscribe, see y'all for the next one.